York City Fire Marshal killed with his own gun. But while Doug Mercero was buried, New York police were at his house test firing his weapon to figure out how anyone could have slept through the shooting as his wife, the prime suspect, claims she and her children did. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager. He was remembered as a rising star in the fire department. Friends of 38-year-old Douglas Mercero trying to hold back the tears as they spoke about just how much they will miss him. It's, it's, it's going to be rough. I, I miss it already. That's all I got to say. But as funerals go, this one was certainly unusual. That's because Mercero's widow, Janet Mercero, is now being investigated as the prime suspect in his murder. And today, as she stood feet away from his casket, mourners and the media couldn't help but try to read the expressions on her face. Was it eerie inside, thinking that she could have killed her mm -hmm. husband? Um, yes, it was. It was. I, I, I think we were both a little uncomfortable. Janet Mercero was at one time estranged from her husband, and she has said that when he was shot three times here at their home last Sunday, she slept through it in another room with their two daughters. Well, at 6.37 this morning, police tested her claim, firing three live rounds from the murder weapon, his 9 millimeter gun. Three separate shots fired moments apart from inside the home as cameras rolled outside. And so, as he was laid to rest, the cloud of suspicion over who killed Douglas Mercero leaves those closest to him angry, certainly hoping their questions are answered soon. The New York City Police Department has assured me that whoever murdered Doug Mercero will be brought to justice. In Staten Island, I'm Stacy Sager, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.